Hello everyone. My name is Amit Singhal and I have secured All India Rank 1 in the JEE Mains exam and All India Rank 143 in the JEE Advanced exam this year. I was giving such a big exam for which I had been preparing for such a long time and I was just looking at people walking in and I also recognized some of my friends from my coaching. so it was a pretty good feeling to see someone familiar there and talking about the new uh, question pattern introduced which was the question stem so again i felt that it was not a very difficult uh, pattern and the questions asked in the physics section were also very easy uh, the first stem was related to projectile motion again a pretty simple question the second was related to capacitors now moving on to the mathematics section so you must have all read online that the math section this year was pretty tough some sources said that it was very easy and some said it was even tougher than 2020 and again it was something that i could never have even dreamt of that i could get all india rank 1 in such a big competitive exam so it was a very happy feeling for me so on the day before the exam i had decided that i would be revising some Uh, in organic chemistry and sub rata topics as they call it so i had made short notes of these topics so i opened those in the morning and started going through them so again by the end of the day i had revised all of them but i had got pretty bored so i decided that i won't be studying any more at the night and i also i had to sleep early so since my reporting time was 7 am the on the j advanced day i had decided that i would sleep early so i decided to sleep at 10 pm the night before the exam and because of uh, exam anxiety that everybody has i couldn't sleep for an hour but after an hour i could sleep peacefully and the next morning i woke up and i went with my parents to give the exam and the center was pretty familiar because i had given all my 3 jee main exams on that center only so it was a pretty comfortable environment from for me So when I went to give my first JEE mains exam I was pretty nervous as it was the first time of, I was giving such a big exam for which I had been preparing for such a long time so in the first exam I was pretty nervous but it went pretty well for me and similarly in the next exam the nervousness had decreased but still I had some amount of anxiety but by the third attempt uh, because I had got a decent percentile I was much more relaxed because I knew that even if I performed ba- ba- pretty bad it won't really affect my score so but maybe because i was so relaxed and didn't have a lot of anxiety that day i could score 100 percentile and get all india rank 1 finally in the jee mains exam so my tip for everybody would be that everyone should be very relaxed on the exam day and should not panic because if we panic then we have a lot of chance of uh, getting silly mistakes in the paper and you know then we panic and we will have time issues so what i learned from my third day especially was that not panicking and having a relaxed attitude helps a lot and it severely reduces the silly mistakes you do in the exam and also you become really confident so that would be the main tip from the jee mains exam so i had reached pretty early to the exam center because due to covid everyone had different uh reporting times and mine was pretty early at 7 am in the morning whereas the exam started at 9 am so i had a lot of time uh, in front of the computer screen so again as usual there was a lot of anxiety in me because i had nothing to do at that time and just wait for the exam to start and i was just looking at people walking in and i re- also recognized some of my friends from my coaching so it was a pretty good feeling to see someone familiar there and when the exam started so first of all we had the instructions there so the pattern was a little different from the previous years uh, this year je tried to introduce almost all the possible patterns into each of the papers so it was pretty unique but again i knew i was confident that i had practiced all sorts of questions so i would uh, be doing pretty well and when the exam started uh, again i had already thought that i would be attempt- attempting it in the PCM manner which is physics then chemistry and then maths uh, this is what i had done in all the mocks and in the jee mains exam so i knew it worked pretty well for me so that is what i did in both the papers so i started my j advanced paper with a physics section so talking about physics of paper 1 it was pretty easy 
and I felt all the questions were either from my class notes or something that I had already seen in a test paper and it was pretty easy. So I cruised through the paper very easily and I did not face any difficulty in any of the questions. So now talking about individual questions, the first question was pretty easy of one year calipers. Uh, it is something that is done very regularly and it is pretty easy topic. But this is the only question that I got wrong in this physics section of this paper. Uh, maybe I think I was pretty overconfident in this topic and I thought I would be able to do any questions of this topic and hence I got it wrong. So my advice would be to everyone that you should not be overconfident in any topic and revise all the topics equally and give every topic uh, equal importance. So this was a pretty easy question that I ended up getting wrong. Uh, so again, the, all the questions were pretty easy and the single choice I felt were extremely easy and could easily be done in a matter of minutes. And talking about the new uh, question pattern introduced, which was the question stem. So again, I felt that it was not a very difficult uh, pattern and the questions asked in the physics section were also very easy. Uh, the first stem was related to projectile motion, again a pretty simple question. The second was related to capacitors, again uh, pretty easy to solve. And the third was of electrostatics. We just had to equate the, uh, find the equipotential surface, which is again a direct formula of maths. Like you just have to find the locus and it was a pretty simple question. So the question stem questions were conceptually pretty easy, but I ended up doing some silly mistakes in this question. So the first question stem, which was related to carbide, and then we had to do a lot of reactions in that. I could get the final products correct, but what mistake I did was didn't balance the moles. So from one mole alkyne, one third mole of uh, product is made, but I assumed it as one and got the whole question wrong. So I got four marks deducted, which I felt was pretty bad because I spent a lot of time getting all the products and I ended up getting the correct products, but still I could not get the marks in this question. So I would recommend everyone to be very careful while attempting the question and uh, try not to make such silly errors. So again, the other two question stems were pretty straightforward from physical chemistry and they, it was mostly just formal application and I could cruise through them pretty easily. So question 11 was a biomolecules question, which I got partial marking in. It was a pretty straightforward question, but I con got confused in the language of the question. It said alpha and in bracket it has the word letter D. So I got pretty confused that I thought it meant that the reactant should also be a D reactant. But in the answer key, they had mentioned that both the options were correct. So in the exam also, I was pretty confused whether I should mark one option or both the options. Because there was such high negative marking, I did not want to get negative marks in this question. So I initially I marked only one option, but at the end, because I had some time left, I went back to review this question and I ended up marking both the options. But I ended up, I ended up not saving the correct answer. So I felt pretty bad after the exam because I thought I had marked both the options, but when my marked responses came, it showed that I had only marked one. So I thought just because of not pressing a button of save, I got three marks less than what I should have got. So again, I would recommend everyone to be very careful while marking the options and make sure to press the save button, uh, especially while choosing questions from the grid. We often go directly to another question without saving it. So I would recommend everybody to be very careful, careful while marking the options. Now moving on to the mathematics section. So you must have all read online that the math section this year was pretty tough. Personally, I did not find it very tough, more so lengthy. In general, I found the paper to be a bit on the lengthier side. And at the end of physics and chemistry sections, I did not have a huge amount of time left that I would, would have wanted for maths. But anyways, I thought whatever time I have left, I would attempt maximum number of questions. And I'm pretty happy with how many questions I did. So talking about the single correct option, uh, the questions I felt were pretty easy, except the question three of probability. I was pretty confident in probability, so I att started attempting that question, but while solving it, I realized that it is a pretty long question and I was nowhere near getting the answer, so I skipped it. So, and but I did mark any random option and ended up getting a negative marking. So I'd recommend everyone not to mark Tukka's 
in their exam because it would lead to negative marking and there is a low probability that you will get it correct unless you are pretty sure that your answer is correct you should not mark it so moving on to the question stem so i felt that the question stem questions uh, in this paper were not very difficult the first question was a probability which i got correct but again during the paper i was pretty confused whether to mark it or not because the answer that i was getting were in decimal and again the values that i was getting were not pretty good numbers so i was pretty not sure whether to mark it or not but i ended up marking them and i thankfully i got them correct so again the third stem is something that i got a little confused in because i think maybe because of the order of the questions so first they had asked the value of lambda square which i got correct it was a pretty lengthy question but i got this one correct but the trick in this question was that the locus was coming out to be a hyperbola for me uh, but there were two locuses in a way the question the statement of the question required us to use only one locus so i thought that would be the entire locus but in fact it wasn't and the question 10 involved that other locus but i thought that no this is not the locus and the other one was and i ended up marking zero as the answer because i thought the line will not intersect it but i had to consider the other locus so this is a question which i got wrong but i am not very too sad about it because i didn't waste any time in it i knew that it won't intersect so i quickly marked zero and went ahead i did lose marks but i did not lose any time either so it was not pretty bad after the exam got over i was happy that i had done pretty well and much more than I, what i would have expected but again i thought that the paper was quite easy so marks versus rank would be pretty tough and it would be difficult for me to get a very good rank but when i talked with my friends and saw it online so the they had mixed reviews some sources said that it was very easy and some said it was even tougher than 2020 so i thought i would wait for the final answer keys and final result to come and finally i ended up getting a rank of 143 which is which i am pretty happy with i would have liked a top 100 rank but again uh, this is a rank that i would never have imagined if you ask me a few months back so i am pretty happy with my performance so the third jay mains was pretty special for me because i ended up getting 100 percentile in that attempt and finally i got all india rank 1 as well in the jay mains exam so i had already checked my answer keys and i was confident that i would be scoring full marks in that paper but again my mom was like let's wait for the final results and don't be too happy now so i waited for the final result and there was a lot of uh, debate going on like when will the uh, result be released and at it was initially in the morning then evening then at 12 am in the night then at 2 am so i thought that there's no point of uh, waking up all night i thought i'll sleep so i slept at 1 am although my mom was uh, awake during the night because she was very nervous for the results to come so she woke me up at 4 am in the morning and said the toppers list was out and my name was in there again i was i already knew that i would get a pretty good rank because i had got full marks so i was like oh okay i knew it and i slept because i was feeling very sleepy and the next morning then when the final results came out of everyone i saw my name in the list and i was pretty happy and again it was something that i could never have even dreamt of that i could get all india rank 1 in such a big competitive exam so it was a very happy feeling for me but again because i had already checked the answer key maybe it was not too much excitement on the result day but again it was a pretty happy moment because i could see the happiness on my parents faces and i was i felt that they were very proud and again it is the best thing that could ever happen now talking about the j advanced exam uh, unlike the j mains results the j advanced website had already announced that results would be released on this date at this time so i i was ready with my laptop i was eating breakfast and just waiting for the results to pop out then i opened telegram and someone had sent a direct link because the website had crashed so i opened it entered my details and there flashed the final result and thank i was very happy that my marks got increased in the disputed questions and i got what marks i had expected although the rank was a little bit higher i got 143 i would love to see love to have seen a under 100 rank but again i was pretty happy that i got such a good rank which i could never have imagined 
the competition at the top was pretty tough this year because of a lot of students getting really good marks so again i was pretty happy to see the results and again my parents were really proud and relatives were calling and the result came out on dashera so every year on dashera my mama and his family and my fufa ji bua everybody comes so they had come that day and again it was a pretty happy feeling that i could celebrate my great result with such an extended family so it was a pretty happy day for me so the main tip i would like to give to all the aspirants preparing for the j exam would be that there is no substitute for hard work again the result i have got is only a result of the consistent hard work that i put in and the long hours of study that i did and the innumerable mock tests and question banks that i practiced so again there is no substitute for hard work and there is no other way to get a good rank in je except practicing a lot of questions having a the clear theory in mind clear concepts and having practiced all the previous year questions so again the only tip i would like to give everyone is be relaxed during the exam be confident uh, in yourself in what you have done and keep working hard and no matter what result you get you should not have the regret that you if you had done something different you would have done better be confident in yourself have faith on yourself and i'm sure everyone can do as well as i have did and even better so again i hope everyone would use the tips that i shared today to the best of their possibilities so i wish all the j aspirants who will give the exam in the coming years all the best let's crack it